Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, oh my gosh, I want to talk about if sneaking is actually useful for characters in Oblivion. So sneaking, it's very simple. It's a skill that you have that involves you sneaking around. That's pretty much all you do, right? Well, there's more to it. Sneaking, if you get really good at it, allows you to have a damage bonus to physical weapons. Except I don't think it works with two-handed weapons, but like stuff like bows and daggers and stuff. It adds damage to it. So if you want to make a character that like one-shots, that's one of the ways to do it. Other than having an extremely powerful spell, you can just sneak around and stab people. So it's useful in that regard. Now for actual dungeoneering, this is where it gets kind of complicated, is the dungeoneering. Now, we'll talk about thievery for a little bit. Thievery, of course sneaking is useful because it allows you to pickpocket and you get to go through houses. But let's actually talk about raiding dungeons using sneak. This is an interesting one. I feel like the concept is there. For sure, 100%, the concept of sneaking through dungeons is there. But not all dungeons are built for it. Lots of caves are just simple one-way things. They're not big rooms. I mean, there's big rooms in the caves, but they're mostly tunnels. And it really doesn't allow you to sneak around and assassinate or do anything like that. You just have to get lucky and hope that the enemy is looking the other way. <clears throat> Alien Ruins, they're kind of there. They have big rooms, but they also have tunnels, and so do forts. Forts have big tunnels, and they also have big rooms. But the thing about forts is they have, a lot of them have just really, really long hallways. Honestly, the only dungeon I really see sneaking working in very good is Oblivion Gates. Those are the only ones where I think sneaking works well, because it's big open spaces. You can sneak around, you know, you can scout at the area, get vantage points. And even in the in the like tower things it still seems like the enemies are like set up to where you can sneak into them sometimes you can't sometimes you gotta fight them normally which is fine but for the most part sneaking is really only useful for raiding oblivion gates just because how confined everything is in oblivion as a game now open areas and like being a road bandit type person oh yeah sneaking is amazing for that because open spaces that's the key Right there. Sneaking is useful, comma, only in open spaces. If it's a one route, one way only, you're screwed. That doesn't work. It really, it doesn't work too well. And that's really it for the uses of sneaking. Now, is it useful? Yeah. I think it is useful for certain things. Would I put it as a top tier thing to always be good at? No, I I think sneaking is, I th I think I want to I'm gonna say this, sneaking is a skill that really didn't get executed as well as it could have. I think it could have been executed better, and I think what it is in the game, it's kind of like how speechcraft, the concept behind it was good, but the execution was bad. I think sneaking, the concept behind it's good, the execution's not as bad as speechcraft, but the execution is not where it could be. There needs to be more open spaces and sneaking around abilities. And I'm scratching my leg because it, it just... And I just... I, I just feel like sneaking's potential is lost. But it can be useful for different types of classes. Not a lot of classes. There's a lot of skills I would put above sneaking. I feel like making a tank-like character is just better in Oblivion than having a character with sneaking capabilities but let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you like sneaking in oblivion is it useful to you for me it's not but i would love to know what you guys think and that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed you can tell me in the comments below subscribe if you're new for more videos on oblivion i'm pacific the casual gamer i suck just as bad as you do at video games and i'll see you in the next episode stream blog or d2 post of whatever i decide to make